Welcome back folks, uh, here we are in Torino, we ended up outside town but uh, no, that's nothing we're gonna um, notice anyway because I just find a company to drive for. Uh, I haven't done this before, I've been scrolling earlier. Uh, I actually knew it that I could click here but I had forgotten so now I'm gonna just click on the city I am at and find the best haulage to take uh, here we see it's an important delivery with oversized cargo to Lyon I don't want to go back so this is gonna be all the uh, offers here are back to Leo so I'm going to take this one that goes to Verona that is the far far most easternmost uh, city in Italy as it stands now as you can see Italy only have three cities at the moment so I hope an add-on or downloadable content will address this so we can get the uh, full Italy although it's not that interesting anyway because it's so uh, narrow so it will be going a little bit back and forth but if we get um, more of uh, the Balkan and uh, more of East Europe perhaps there could be ferries over here uh, ferries from Italy to Spain different ways so that could be nice so someday let's see what happens so we're going to Verona with peace mm -hmm. that's okay perfectly normal job nothing special about it it's gonna be easy uh, a little winding road here too and probably a few toll roads like we've seen before and it's gonna be a night drive so we better put on the headlights so let's go here people may still wonder why I don't use directional lighting lights when I enter a new road but it's uh, mainly because I find it troublesome because I'm using the mouse to look around and the one hand I use for steering is busy with steering and speeding so to use the directional lights uh, when driving with keyboard or mouse is too complicated I think so I have just ignored that little functionality but I will start using those when I start driving with a steering wheel Today we're driving a Majestic, uh, looks very similar to one I had not long ago, a few, few deliveries ago, uh, four or five days ago, days but four or five deliveries ago, I think I had the exact same car, same truck as this, I tend to say car, uh, I should learn to say truck, that's what it is, it's not a car. It has, wheel, it has wheels and it has an engine and everything, but I still consider it a truck, not a car. Or can we call a truck a car still? Perhaps, perhaps. Truck is more accurate anyway. So we're taking that route, yes. Off to the left, eastbound. To Bern. Well, not exactly to Bern, but Milano. And we're going to Verona. That was going slightly fast here now to be on this 
tight off front, but it seems to work nicely. No cars coming, so I'm sliding out. Uh, I have a feeling that when you coming onto a highway, it's very, very rarely that you see uh, other cars coming on from behind. Uh, I think that is um, that's a weakness because it, there's often. Okay, what are you doing, jerk? Uh, like this, there are often coming cars on to the track where you are driving, but there's very few obstacles when you coming on to the highway yourself. And that is um, probably a design choice from SES that they could um, consider to work a bit on to, to make the on-ramps a little more full of traffic so that you actually have to time your uh, approach so that you can uh, merge nicely into the traffic. That would be a nice little detail. But it hardly ever happens. The traffic is uh, mainly a problem. More problem when, like we just saw, when this car is coming from the inside and wants to barge out in, into your lane. And I think if I had slammed that car there, I would have been, I would have been punished for it. So it would have been unfair because I was on the right to just drive. I think I would at least think so in real life. This is a bit more hilly and alpish. Now we get some tight corners too. Not allowed to bypass here, drive by either. It's not too winding and not too steep, but it's uh, still a, a bit of a change from what we have been driving since ho Netherlands and through France. It's a nice change. So we're going up for now, it looks like. I think so. Up in the hills. But it's not very steep. Uh, you can feel that on the engine. It's not working too hard, but as you see, I don't accelerate fast either, so it's a little uphill. Here I actually decelerated a little. It's probably a lot too much to ask, but sometimes it would be fun in the game if there was a radio message or something when you you're nearby some landmarks that is worth checking, like a tourist guide or something. But um, of course, that would be uh, well, that, that could be a little little demanding to create and uh, cost a bit and uh, the interest for such would probably... Oi! There we go! There it happened. What I've talked about before. It seems I'm, I'm probably stuck here now. No, I'm not. <laughs> That's nasty. Okay. Yes. Well, I predicted it a few clips ago, <laughs> so... <laughs> That's also costly. It's gonna cost at least... 
they're going to take away a little bit from the salary and the repair of this car is going to be for free but I didn't tilt it completely so I did not have to use the the emergency help so that would probably happen some other time but that corner was a little too tight and as I predicted it would happen when I got to the Alps because of the tight narrow winding roads so sorry to those uh, people who was in that small little sedan there it can't it must have been quite painful if this had been uh, what I would call a hardcore mode uh, this would have given you a seriously heavy penalty so so hard that actually you you would get a warning that uh, if you ever did something similar another time uh, your driving driving license would have been taken from you look at this um, someone should take my driving license immediately <laughs> <laughs> this is totally horrible well mistakes is uh, probably some of what make this let's play a little more interesting to watch <laughs> to just watch me cruising around without making any fuss would probably be a bit too boring for most people so those little mistakes is hopefully a little just a little spice but also what I was about to say about a hardcore mode that I wish for it's not implemented in the game and Oops, I'm really messing up. <coughs> um, that first mistake I made when I crashed that little sedan should give a penalty and a heavy warning that if this ever happens again, at least in the near future, your license would be taken away from you and the game is over. And even save game would be destroyed so you couldn't pick up some time earlier it would be very interesting uh, like in a game as Diablo 3 where you have this hardcore mode when you die it's perm permanently death and it could be the same here and there could be an online ranking system that ranked people uh, towards how long they had been driving, how much money they had earned, uh, how little, how few uh, few uh, penalties they had, and so and such, so that uh, people could compare it with each other to to see uh, how their progress was in. Uh, in the whole world. I think that would have been really nice and interesting addition to the game to compete with other people even the, even though we play offline. But of course such a feature would mean that um, you had to either upload uh, very s in a very simple manner upload your uh, your data or the game would have to be somehow connected online but um, of course I would not prefer prefer that because uh, games requiring online connection all times when you play can be quite quite uh, annoying so an option to just send your data directly to uh, a site that uh, that um, benchmarked uh, players against each other could be very fun I think but enough about this <coughs> it's just a suggestion for future development of the game
if anything like a hardcore mode was implemented, then also was uh, uh, benchmarked uh, between players in the whole world on a site or something on the SCS homepage. Uh, I would certainly use it. I would certainly try to to make uh, make a hardcore character and see how far I can get. And then I would certainly drive the steering wheel and with uh, utter caution. See, people are flashing the lights at me now because I'm running the full lights. Uh, but <coughs> on highways, I think it's uh, simply too dangerous to drive with with. Uh, not, not having full lights on. <coughs> so I don't dare to do that. Even with full lights I think the sight is, is uh, fairly limited. But in hardcore mode, if there was one, you wouldn't be allowed to drive like this. So there you would have to adjust your speed. Looks like we're getting closer to Verona, or not yet, perhaps. <coughs> Sorry, I'm just not used to talking this much. I've been uh, recording several clips in a row now without break, so perhaps it's time for a little break, so I can, so I don't lose my voice completely. Going slower here. I think I just change lane and speed by. I didn't see a sign for any speed limits or anything, so. But it's not unlikely that there is one. Because there's a lot of those in Italy. Looking out for this um, radar, it's so often placed in the middle between the between the line lanes. Uh, I guess it's just the weather that make uh, the cars go slower. Yeah, I suppose so. As you can see, um, the areas uh, that I pass now, it's grey uh, in those uh, places I haven't driven. Uh, so the road changes to yellow where I've been at least once. This is uh, something that counts toward, uh, towards something they call completion, percentage completed of the game. And, uh, or explored, perhaps it is. And even the tiniest little parking lot or backyard of a hotel is counting towards this. So, in this let's play, I doubt I will ever try to complete that. Um, that will be in episode 1000 or something. Let's hope... Um, I doubt this let's play will be in 1000 episodes. <laughs> that would be quite sick. Probably a world record though. <laughs> so it could be fun for me, but probably utterly boring for everyone else. Looks like it's time for me to get off the highway. As you see, the road is uh, grey in that area, I can't drive, and that is also Italy east part of northern Italy, so there's no roads there, so I can't get that way anyway, so... Oops, let's slow down a bit. 
um, very much. Uh, I'm not in England. Man. This trip has been quite, um, well, <laughs> rough. <laughs> it's not been as smooth as uh, some of the earlier ones. The rain has stopped, so we can we can at least turn off the wipers. get to Verona Centrum. It's time for late night dinner for a truck driver. Some pasta, pizza, something nice from the Italian cuisine. Is. Man, the truth is, I'm gonna eat Norwegian meatballs. Well, this is. <laughs> wow. This, I'm setting some kind of record here in uh, making a mess. Uh, Perhaps uh, all this uh, talk I've done about hardcore uh, simulating is just rubbish because this uh, little trip has proven I'm not capable in any way. No way I could do any hardcore driving with this style. But hardcore would probably make me be more cautious, a lot more cautious. can't even park. I don't even manage to park good this time. Uh, it's probably me just being uh, overly hungry. That was a complete mess. I can't park this one. No. I'm gonna auto park this. Sorry. <laughs> good, good work. <laughs> you gotta be joking. That was not good work. It was probably as bad work as work can ever be. Embarrassing. <laughs> Let's hope I can make this good again in the next in the next um, haulage. Uh, let's go for ADR because that will open up different kinds of um, goods we can transport. So I go for that ADR now. So I think that cata catastrophic um, journey is over now. Uh, I better take a little break and think over what I was doing to hopefully improve in the next uh, next job I take. So that's it from me for now. So take care folks. See you later. Bye bye.